basic animation in CreateJS. How to change and test frameworks. Produced by Lon Hosford. This video shows how to adjust the ESLJS ticker class frame rates and to test animation performance. Check the video description for files and updated links used in this video. This is the finished HTML5 file in a web browser. The red circle was drawn with the ESLJS library and animated with the TweenJS library. The animation's frame rate is 60 frames per second. Keep in mind what you see in this video may be of lower animation quality due to screen recording and video compression. So be sure to try all examples in your own web browser. To follow along, open the start folder's index.html file and save it in the practice folder as index.html. If the contents of this file are unfamiliar to you, there are other videos covering the details. You can see the animation is not as smooth as our finished file. Animation smoothness improves by drawing more times per second. We can do that easily using the ticker class setFPS method. Let's add it on the line before the ticker add event listener line. Start with the namespace create.js, then ticker, the method setFPS. The argument value is the frames per second. We will use 60 and complete. Refresh in the web browser and you should see a smoother animation. Web browsers do not always render the ticker frame rate you set. You can find out the actual frame rate using the ticker class get measured FPS method. One way to display this method is using a web browser that supports the console.log method. Add a line after the stage update method, console, the log method, create JS namespace, the ticker class, the get measured FPS method, no arguments, and complete the log method and the line. Open the console window for your web browser and refresh the file. You should see the values for the animation's performance in the console window. Animation is a CPU intensive process. There are a number of items that can impact CPU performance. The CPU capacity may be great on your computer, but not so great on a smartphone or tablet. Not all web browsers process JavaScript and render display updates with the same performance. As your animation grows in complexity, the performance may degrade. Fortunately, there are more performance techniques available in CreateJS, such as graphics caching, and its support for the document object model request animation frame rate method. We will have a closer look at these in future tutorials. And since this is JavaScript, there are performance best practices you can apply. Often testing tools are the unexpected cause. For example, displaying information in the web browser console at every interval of an animation degrades performance significantly. Try experimenting with values for the set FPS method. Then use different web browsers and devices to compare results. Remember to remove or comment console log lines for maximum performance and to avoid JavaScript errors in web browsers that do not support it. Thank you for watching.